So 343 just made a very interesting statement on Twitter saying, oh, did we mention there will be a Halo Infinite world premiere for this throwback throwdown? Wonder what it could be. Now before I go on giving you some more tasty information, one way you can treat yourself is by checking out TryTreats.com. There you can explore beyond your borders what tasty snacks other countries are enjoying. Such countries like France, Croatia, Korea, Australia, South Africa, Canada, Mexico, and so many more. TryTreats gives you the ability to test out different bits of candies and treats that you can for outside of your own borders. This week we have Poland. So if you're looking to broaden your snacky borders or missing one of your favorite treats from the country you used to live in, TryTreats.com has got you covered. If you're interested, check out the link in the pinned comment down below, guys. And if you're looking to subscribe to one of their boxes, use code KevinCoolX for 15% off your purchase. When you do, it helps support the channel as well. If you have any questions, check out their links in the description of this video as well for their socials. So thank you TryTreats for sponsoring this video. Make sure you use my code to get yourself 15% off your first purchase. And let's get right back into those details. If you don't know what this throwdown is gonna be, saying to celebrate 15 years of Halo 3, iconic pro players from that era will clash in a throwback throwdown at the HS Orlando Major happening this weekend. This will be on Sunday, September 25th. And to confirm, you said, are they gonna be playing MCC or Halo Infinite for this throwback throwdown? And they said they'll be playing on Halo Infinite, which it really wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to bring these old Halo 3 players back into Halo to play Halo Infinite, just to watch them play regular ranked matches like we do with all the other current pro players it just wouldn't it really be that entertaining to be like what to like watch ogre 2 play or something like that but what would make this interesting to have a cool announcement i think having some forge maps from halo 3 but in the halo infinite and i talked about this on my video on monday about how there was a forger that was doing some remakes of guardian and uh Unishek jumped into his chat and said he wanted to talk about some halo i just got a twitter message from Unishek. A DM, he wants to talk Halo stuff. But I told you guys, if this was gonna happen, uh, I'd most likely have to go under a NDA. If you guys don't know what an NDA is, it's a non-disclosure agreement. Meaning, the stuff he tells me, I would not be able to tell anybody. NDA'd out of his mind. So like I mentioned, saying like, that's quite interesting why a 343 employee would jump into this stream in particular, because there's a bunch of people that have been making content with Forge and streaming it and stuff like that. But this person particularly making a remake of Guardian gets contacted by 343. And this happened about a month ago, so why well, we could make some connections there i mean we did have joseph Staten recently talk about this as well about how playing some remade maps would be quite awesome why don't you just bring back the the maps from the old games and put them into halo infinite explain why you can or cannot do that that's a good idea paris <laughs> oh i mean all, all, all kidding aside like yeah uh, i i can talk about some things but i can't talk about other things. right like there are some great halo maps Ardian, gold pit like there are a lot of maps that are awesome right i think it'd be awesome to play on those maps again don't don't you guys like that sounds like fun which given joseph saying's coy response to that one i think there's something cooking in the background when it comes to maybe some classic material coming into halo infinite which would be quite awesome which yeah that's fine and dandy for that event in particular but what about us players do we get a chance to play on these maps because they're not in the roadmap because if we're looking at just the roadmap we're only getting two maps for the winter update being detachment and argyle so why would they be throwing these maps in for this event, but then not be able to bring it into the game? It just wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, I think the reason why is because I have a feeling this will be a limited time mode. I have a feeling coming in for us guys, because there's not really much in the way of limited time modes or events besides the winter contingency that was labeled within that update. That's supposed to last us four months for the winter update. I think we could potentially see some maps from this event come into as like a playlist that's gonna be available for like two weeks or something like that. Now the reason why it's probably not in the roadmap is probably because these maps need a little bit more play testing to make sure that there's nothing that can be broken or buggy about it. But the pros can probably go ahead and play on it because the thing is that 
when you have just like a small group of people who kind of like maybe vow to play maybe more gentlemen's agreement and not utilize any kind of bugs or anything with the map they can just play it how it's intended to be played that it's probably okay for them to play it but if you release, release it not to the general public who are going to utilize bugs or going to find these weird little glitches that need so much play testing and even then they probably still can't cover all the little bugs and glitches that can happen with forge maps hence why we wouldn't be seeing this update for quite some time but the pro players could probably play it right now like if you guys remember that btb refresh that happened for halo 5 that was like a year long process to get those maps into the game which is continuous play testing after play testing updating the maps making sure there's no bugs and glitches with the whole thing as well of course this announcement could also just be tied to the reveal of the new partner teams that are coming in halo infinite if you guys do know that uh there's been uh, quite a few teams that have been denied so far when it comes to partnership for the hcs side of things so we could also get just get that announcement but i have a feeling if we're gonna do it during this Halo 3 tournament, right? That it would be more classic Halo themed, which would be something I would really, really like to have some classic maps come into this game. There are also gonna be some really cool unlocks and stuff tied to this event as well. You guys definitely wanna check out. If you guys wanna know more about that stuff, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.